In this video on c -sharp Basics, we're going to be taking a look at variables. Now variables are storage containers for data in memory. You can think of them as a storage container similar to one that you might find around your house. With code that we write, we can go ahead and create one of these storage containers and give it a label like display text. Then we can take a portion of the code, like the hello world in quotation marks, and move that hello world into the storage container called display text. Now whenever we want to reference the hello world string, we can replace that with just simply display text. Now the display text variable name references back to the container in memory that holds the hello world string. Now we can write additional code that uses the display text variable name to refer back to the hello world string. When declaring variables, there are two different ways you can declare them. You can either do declaration first, which just, as you see on your screen, puts the data type, which right now is string, and then the variable name here. Typically, you want to do declaration first when you don't yet know what your display text string is going to contain. Then later on, you can create an assignment to the variable name, such as we see here display text equals hello world. You do this by using an assignment operator that is really just one equal sign. Then you want to follow it with the value that you want to assign to the variable. Alternatively, you can declare your variables with an initial value, such as the one that you see on your screen here. It's a slightly more condensed version of the declaration first method. Here we have the data type once again called a string. Here we have the variable name of display text. There is the assignment operator or one equal sign. And then finally, the value that you want to assign to the variable. These four components all make up a declaration of a variable and assign an initial value to that variable. Notice that the data type is a string. And that's because the value that we plan on assigning to the variable is a type of string. We will talk more in depth about data types later. So let's take a look at an example of how a variable might be used. Here we're using the declaration of a variable along with an initial value of hello world. Next, you can see that we use the display text variable name in three different locations of our code. These are all referencing back to the variable name that we declared up above. Finally, you may have seen this little count parentheses method at the very end of this debug.write line. These are called extension methods, and they provide additional functionality to your variables. Now, I'm not going to go over extension methods in depth during this series. I just want you to understand that these provide additional functionality to some of the variables that you might have in your code. Here, the count method does an actual count of how many characters are in the display text variable. 